So he's pulled out his Sicilian dough from the oven, plain, baked plain in olive oil, and now he's getting ready to top it. So we've already baked the, uh, the under crust. Yep, so now we're gonna top it with our, uh, our sauce. This is a blend of four different types of Stanislaus. Four products. different products yeah. blended to your specs, and, there's and it's thicker than the uh, Napolitana sauce. It is, this is our classic uh, American sauce. It has a little bit of a hand crushed tomatoes in this, it has a little bit of a puree in this, and it has a few other things that we have in it as well. And I, I won't tell you. It's thicker because it's not gonna be in the oven as long, and so it's not gonna th thicken up in the oven as much? Well, you know, it's nice to put a heavy, more robust sauce on a pizza like this, on a Sicilian. You know, you got a lot a of crust. dough. Yeah. You gotta kinda compromise with that with kind of a nice sauce, and this is a really nice, robust sauce that will, like, complement it. So we have 100% whole milk mozzarella. We're gonna whole put, milk mozzarella. This is grande, 100% whole milk. This is not low milk. fat mozzarella. This is the whole milk deal. Yeah, this grande is, is probably the, when you say the most popular brand of pizzeria mozzarella in the country, huh? Of the grande is, is number one cheese when it comes to pizza. When it comes to pizza, pizza. okay. But it, it melts really nice, um, and you're gonna see that melt. You don't have to cover it with cheese. Yeah, it's gonna be a pepperoni and sausage pie. Is pepperoni still, would you say, the, the most popular topping for yeah, American style pizzas and the number one ingredient. Yeah, when it comes it to is pizza, is, is really pepperoni. When it, it except for here at my, my restaurant, the margarita well, yeah, is, is number one. So we have a fresh sausage fresh that we're going to pinch, wow. and you're going to notice that I'm pick, pinching in the size of a dime. When you pinch in the size of a dime, it'll cook. If you pinch in the size of a quarter, it'll probably be raw coming out. So that's very important when it comes to pinching sausage. And usually when you pinch it, people are used to having sausage balls. You never yeah. do that. You actually press it. So it's flat, just like cooking a hamburger. Okay. You cook a hamburger that's round, the yeah. center is not going to be cooked. You cook a hamburger that's flat, the center will be right, cooked. So right. you got to remember that with raw sausage. Yeah, so again, it's those little touches, the details, remembering to flatten the sausage. Otherwise, you're going to have a, a, a raw piece. And this way, you get nice, crisp sausage cooked all the way through. OK, so we're going to add this in the cupone. All right. We'll cook it up. This is going to go into this special Sicilian. It's an oven that's designed for the Sicilian pizza. We'll slide it in there. We'll take it out in about three minutes. And what's nice about this oven is the top and the bottom are very close to each other. Yeah. I, and so the heat really comes down. Exactly. And I can control the top or bottom element, depending on my bake. So let's just say I overbaked it on the bottom. I can just actually turn off the bottom element, keep the top on, and just All right. fire it. Right? All right. Coming out of the Capone oven, specially designed for this style of pizza. They kind of like a focaccia. I mean, it's really focaccia, spiacciata. So it Sicilian should slide pizza. right They're out. kind of in the same family. It comes slides right out because there's all that wonderful olive oil in yeah, there. That's important. Seared right into the bottom of the crust. I'm going to look at the bottom. Bend down there and see how that look. Beautiful, crisp, rich golden color. How, how long did you say you aged the dough for this one? This is like about a 40-hour rise. Uh, actually, 50-hour rise, but then we let it mature here. It's been out for like six hours. Almost. So like, like over three days. Look, putting on a little what oregano here. We have some oregano that's imported from Calabria. Calabrian, Calabrian oregano, right off the stalk. Just a touch. Yeah, a little bit more olive oil over the top with that garlic. A little garlic oil. We already remember he already brushed some on earlier. Now he's got a little more on the top. It's nice to have that fresh garlic. This is a garlic lover's pizza. We've got the sausage already cooked. We've got the pepperoni. The rock and roll knife. Served in square pieces, not wedges. And there you see the aeration, the, the, the holes. We've, again, we've talked about this in other styles of pizza where you get that beautiful crumb structure, the, the webbing of the dough. Again, from a combination of long fermentation, both prior to shaping, and then letting it rise in the pan. It's not just put in the pan and bake. It's, it raises again in the pan, creates these beautiful air bubbles, and then they bake. And the advantage of that is, as always, there's only one reason to do anything better flavor. You know, you can't please everybody. Yeah. And if you try to please everybody, then you never do anything quite well because you're spreading yourself out too thin. You've got four different styles of pizza so that pretty much anybody who walks here with any kind of background in pizza has got, is gonna find something that's gonna remind them of childhood. Yeah. With this, you know, the Sicilian style, um, we see this in certain places in New York and, and certain cities, I know Providence, Rhode Island sells a lot of pan pizzas like this. You get a, a, a certain percentage of customers who come in looking for this Just style. Just Sicilian style, yeah. And that's they all they want. And it doesn't exist on the West Coast that much at all. That's right. Only yeah. a handful of people that do it on the West Coast. So being able to bring 
great Sicilian pie in the, in the restaurants. It's, it's, it's pretty great. Yeah, so well, try let's try it. We're gonna. This is sausage, pepperoni, and a bunch of other stuff. Occhio malocchio, prezzemolo finocchio, scacchi e tarocchi, ai 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 ai, parapapè.